This is the plaintiff, Lilani Cooper. She says the defendant, her mother, owes her money, and no matter what she does, she can't seem to get the woman to pay up. She knows this is a drastic measure, taking her to court and all, but she needs this money, and if it takes her suing her own mother for it, so be it. She's suing for $1,500, the amount of the loan. This is the defendant, Teresita Landry. She says she is humiliated to be here in court with her daughter, especially after all she's done for the girl. She has lost all respect for her daughter and doesn't owe her a dime because she bought the girl clothes for her baby, clothes for her boyfriend, even maternity clothes for her. And if anyone's owed, it's not the plaintiff. She's accused of dodging a daughter. The defendant has filed a countersuit for $3,280.89 for money is owed. All parties, please raise your right hand. Be seated, come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, in. Okay, Lilani Cooper. Yes. You are suing your mother, Teresita Landry. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. For $1,500, the, uh, uh, for a loan, the remainder, I guess, of a loan that you, um, made to her that she has not finished repaying. You have a counterclaim against her for $3,280.89 for any maternity clothes, baby clothes, anything at all that you've um, given her for the last many years, which you now want repaid, because I guess you feel that she owes you that. All right, Ms. Cooper, let's start with you. Yes, Your Honor, thank you. Um, I lent my mother $2,000 at, How her, long ago? at her request. It was uh, December 2010. And, um, wow, that's a while ago. And did, did she say why she needed it? She needed it for her laundromat. She was behind in rent and behind in utilities. She owned a laundromat? She owned a laundromat at the time, yes. Okay. So, do you acknowledge that you borrowed two thousand dollars from her? Yes, I did, but I paid her the five hundred, so I only owe her fifteen hundred. Right, and that's Correct. what she's suing for is the fifteen hundred. So Correct. everybody's in agreement on that. So talk to me. What happened? Um, I gave her the money. She asked for it, and she had agreed that when she filed her twenty ten tax returns in April of two thousand eleven, she would pay me back at that time. Um, she had some financial difficulties, and so, you know, I was willing to work with my mom to have her repay me when she could. Um, but what happened is um, my mother has wanted me to, I have two toddler daughters. How and old are they? Uh, three and 18 months, 19 months next week. Um, for the youngest one. And ever since my oldest daughter was born, she has been badgering me to baptize my daughters um, in the religion of her choice. Which is? Catholic. Okay. Um, I was raised Catholic. I am not connected with the religion. I don't go to church. My fiance, the father of both of the girls, um, he was raised in uh, a different religion. So we Which just, one? He, his family is Jehovah's Witness. Okay. So we decided we're not going to raise them with any um, religion. We're going to raise them spiritual. So so that uh, was a continuing argument between the two of you. Continuing argument. Where she would say to you, you have to do this, and she, you would say, I'm not mm -hmm. going to do it. Mm -hmm. And then what? And she just couldn't respect my wishes. Um, and so I, after I had my second daughter um, in November of 2012, um, I didn't go back to work. I was going to go back to school. And my mother actually said that she would watch the girls for me. I was supposed to start January 2013. Um, on January 8th, 2013, a couple days before my orientation, my mother called and said, um, you have to give me a list of people for the baptism um, um, we're going to have a party. I'm going to buy the dresses. I'm going to do the food. We'll do all this. Had you, had you said anything that would make her think you were saying yes? Never. Always stood my ground and said, I'm not doing that. I'm sorry. This is my choice. These are my children. This is my time. You had your 
you raised your children, you know, please just respect my wishes. And she just couldn't accept that. So she hung up on me and then had my brother call and take her side. Um, your brother? Mm-hmm. My brother okay. called me and took her side and said, just do this for mom. She's getting old. Just make her happy. Nah, you make soup. <clears throat> yeah. You know, you, you buy a nice gift. You take her out for lunch. That's what you do mm -hmm. to, you know, but you don't, yeah. you know, alter the religious path of your own children to make somebody, your mom, happy. I mean. Yeah. I, I just tried to always just make so it. So what happened? Well, I tried to call. I called and called. She didn't answer. Because, when did that happen? Uh, 2013. We have, the beginning, like, January 2013? Yep, I haven't When seen was the last time you talked to your mother? Um, that day, the January You haven't 8th. talked to your mother in a year and a half? No, she, I, I actually, on Mother's Day 2013, I said, I sent her a text message because she wouldn't pick up my calls. I said, please, this is silly. Let's just please put it aside, you know? She sent me a text, Lonnie, do not come over here. I will call the police and have you arrested for trespassing. It's better to live it this way. And that's the What's last I've on? ever heard of my mom. What's going on? That's correct, Your Honor, because she's treating me. She said, I'm going to come up there, and I want my money back. How is that anyway, threatening you? That's somebody who wants to get paid back money you owe them, which you acknowledge owing them. How yeah, is that a she threat? said to me, she said, um, I, I said, why don't we not leave it like this? You know, I'll talk to you later. I'll pay you back as much as I can, because my husband had double heart attack, and I could, between the payment of the co-pays and the medication in the hospital, I just could not swing it because I'm retired, Your Why Honor. Why haven't you talked to your daughter in a year and a half? You haven't seen because your grandchildren in a year? Because she is swearing stop, at stop. me. Stop, stop. Listen to my question. You haven't seen your grandchildren in a year and a half? No, she stopped me for doing that. She said... But just a second. Hold on a second. Your problem with her stopped you from doing it. But according to her, is she lying when she says that she kept trying to call you and trying to patch it up and that you said to her, it's better we live it this way? You don't deny having said that. You're the one who didn't want anything to do with her or them. I don't have anything to do with her, but I said to her, I would like to have the kids' baptism. That, I never asked you that much. I said, I love those kids so much, and I would like to see them. She is calling me in this and in that and all this thing. And then, in fact, I can prove it to you that she called me names. And my son, one day, she pushed me in the couch. She said, um, she pushed me. Pushed you? She pushed me just pushed like you? this. I went back at the back in the couch, and my son said, don't you ever do that. When did that happen? When she was on drugs during the high school days. OK, that's a long time ago. Yeah, but I, I said to her in the phone, I would like to see those kids. If you don't want to baptize, she Never. is all calling me names, and I don't want to really get into that. In fact, I can prove it to you that she apologized for what she said to me. OK, so she apologizes for what she said to you, and you won't accept your daughter's apology? You would rather not see her in a year and a half and not see your grandkids? I mm -hmm. uh, accept her apologies, but on the top of that, Your Honor, she's nagging me for the money I owe her. I but said, you acknowledge owing her the money. I, yes, I did, but for 1500 But I said to her, did you realize that you owe me money? He said, oh, no, I never owe you anything. I have all the proof in here. What, what does she owe you money for? OK, um, on June 10th, she borrowed um, $700. According to her, she needs, I gave her a cast for US currency to fix the dog's teeth because it's rotted. OK, oh, stop fine. right there. What's your response to that? That, all of that is a fabrication. The pushing in front of my brother, all threatening her, Your Honor, on my daughter's souls. These are the children that she will have nothing to do with. These are your grandchildren. You don't I told you, I said, if you can just let it go, our religious differences, you, you're more than welcome to be in their lives. If you can respect that, that my fiance and I don't want to baptize them, so you I, can be in their lives. You're the one who's chosen not to speak with me. You were in Violet's life for not even barely eight weeks. This is the, the $700 that she's talking about. She didn't pay for Did she, she pay was, you $700? No. I paid it out of my pocket. They didn't want the dog. They were going to put the dog down. Okay, I took wait, the dog. wait, but what do you mean they didn't want the dog? There's the dog in their possession? There's missing that, something in the story. It was their dog. 
Did she pay for the teeth thing or did no, you? I paid for it. So she's completely making up she having paid for the teeth. She is completely making that up, Your Honor. Did she God making up the $700? She is. Uh, it was almost $700 did to she, have is it she done. Is she making up that she gave you $700? Yes, she is. Why All would right, I? Let me hear the next thing you think she owes you. In okay. fact, let me tell you what you think she owes you is baby clothes that you bought for the babies, correct? Okay, correct. Any, any, according to her, they're all presents that you gave throughout the course of years no, and that Honor. now you want to be repaid for. Mm -hmm. No, Your Honor. Exactly. And then I did her laundry for four months. And you'd like to get paid for that? She never paid me. It's right she, here. I'm There's sorry. Some... Mom, when you were doing your daughter's laundry, you expected to get paid for the laundry? Because it's a business, Your Honor. Okay? It's a drop-off business in the laundromat. I could not run. What's really going on? Because on the count of the... What's really going on? What's, What's go really going on? That you think she's disrespectful and you don't want to have anything to do with her? She's disrespectful. Or is it she's the baptism say, thing? No. The baptism is I let it go. That's why when she called me names... What, I, tell me what you were saying to her about the baptism. I, I said to her, Lilani, I don't... I mean, I would like to see the kids baptized. And I said to her, I never asked you that much in life. And this is the only things I ask you. Why is that important to you? Because I was brought up that way. Okay, you were brought up Catholic. And in the Catholic religion, what happens if you're not baptized? The kids won't be, not be, you know, not be going to heaven. Okay, all right, now let me ask you a question. Do you speak regularly with God? Do you? Yes, I do. Okay. Have you asked him what he thinks about this? Because I don't know about your God, but my God would not approve. This is just wrong. You don't have the right to ask your daughter to baptize her children. I understand no, that, No, I don't honor. think you do, and I want you to listen to me because this is really important. You're going to go home, she's going to go home, and you guys may never talk to each other again. And you're going to miss out on so much. You're going to miss out on this. Hand this over to her, please. You need to understand that there are boundaries between a mother and a child. An adult child doesn't owe you things. Morally speaking, they should visit you. They should attempt to have a good relationship with you. For the sake of their children, they should try to have grandparents in their children's lives because there's nothing more delicious than grandparents. While parents say, no, 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 grandparents slip chocolate. And, you know, that's your job. You finally can do whatever you want and just make a child happy. But she doesn't owe you baptism. I feel very strongly about baptism, too. But if my children, my adult children, tell me that's not the way we want to go, I have to respect that. I don't get to make that decision for them. I don't, OK? Do you really, really think? Re I, I haven't asked you yet. Do you really think that there could possibly be a God that I, would take all those unbaptized well, children and not let them into heaven? I let it go, Judge. Your I'm Honor. I'm not sure you did. Because uh, but let's talk about it's the next my issue. Life. She's disrespectful, curses you out. You said you have it in the text. Yes. Let me see it. I'd like to see it. This was in April of this year, an entire year, and almost a year and a half has passed. I apologize for things I said that hurt you. I should not have said anything. But can you understand where I was coming from? I was so upset you couldn't leave the baptism thing alone. I was postpartum and dealing with going back to school, and when you abandoned me and the girls just for not baptizing them, it hurt me so deeply. It's awful to be abandoned by your own mother. It takes emotional scarring to a whole new level when your own mother doesn't love you anymore. I am recovering and healing still. 2013 was one of the darkest, saddest chapters of my life, but I am a survivor and I have a lot of love and support. Thank God, he is truly great. What did you answer to that text? Welcome back to The People's Court, Harvey Levin here. So, would you guys ever sue your mom? If your mom were just heinous, borrowed money, refused to pay you back, would you ever do? Absolutely not. I think your mom's your mom and you have to learn to be forgiving because she's raised you and done so much for you that maybe you should understand and forgive her. Yeah, yeah. but what if, what if she just disregards you, disrespects you and says, eh, you know, I'm just not gonna pay back? I still could never sue my own mother. After all, she raised me and looked after me. Oh, Who would sue their mom here? 
Oh, okay. Yeah, nice crowd. I would not sue my mom either. <laughs> okay. Ah, you guys, going inside the courtroom. I never responded because, Your Honor, if I do, we will be fighting and cursing and... You know what's amazing to me? That you would choose being right and being stubborn over her. That's the part she can't get over. That, you know what, if my mother and I were to have a fight, and those days are over, we're too old for that. <laughs> but when, if we did, I couldn't stand it! Because in the end, you pick the person over being right! Because it should matter to you. But you know what reality she has to live with forever? That she didn't. She didn't matter enough to you. Do you know how sad that is? That your own flesh and blood didn't matter enough to you? And not just her, her children didn't matter to you. No one mattered to you enough for you to put loving them and missing them over being right. Stand up, please, sir, and stand next to your wife. What do you think about all this? This is that? terrible. What do you think should happen here? I would like them to get back together. Your Honor, uh, can I say something? I do want you to say something. I don't regret to see the kids, and you don't I, I will welcome them anytime. What about your daughter? It's just... What about your daughter? You can't, after a year and a half of freezing her out, you don't think you punished her enough for whatever curse word she said? After a year and a half of freezing her out and the, and what, the suffering you have caused, look at, look at your daughter, Sis. look at your daughter. Enough already, enough already. Because trust me, there is no God that I can envision that could be smiling upon your behavior. As for your claim against her, $1,500. As for your claim against her, I find them all to be gifts. So, how do you feel coming out of the courtroom? Oh, it's fine. It's just, you know. It's fine. It's, it, I love to see the children. I never stopped doing that. It's just, you know, like the judge said, you know, I, ha I can get over with the, you know, emotional healing. Mm -hmm. so. Would you like to get better, back with your daughter? Someday. Sometimes. Yeah. When? I don't know. I have no idea. Not today. She's standing right there. I know. Not today? No. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> this way. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so step on in here and anything about the, the case, getting your money, or is, is that what this is about? I'm just focused on, I just want closure. I mean, 2013 was one of the hardest years of my life. And how painful was this right in here, watching the judge work as hard as she could? That's how my mother is. That's how she is. And that's, you know, that's what I meant, you know, when she was never there for me emotionally. She did say, yes, she does want to get back together with you at some point. She did say that at some point. When? I'll, I'll believe it when I see it. All right, Harvey. Okay, Kurt, here's the deal. Uh, there are some big cities especially that have these mediation services specifically for families where if you're in a war with a family or a neighbor, what you can do is you can go to these things that are low cost, in some cases free, um, if you don't have the money. And it is a way of resolving things with your family short of going to court.